It's been over 19 months since Lexus started production and sales of the second generation NX and owners are receiving the 2024 model year NXs right now. So any complete redesigned vehicle would see a spike in issues and complaints. In this video, we will look at complaints on the 2022 and 2023 NX owners and see what they have issues with their NX. And this is really looking at the National Highway Sa Traffic Safety Administration reports. Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to look at all the complaints that have been reported to the NHTSA for the 2022 and 2023 NXs. This should give you a sense of what issues have been seen by second generation NX owners, and before we start, I will tell you that there has been 10 complaints from NX owners who have reported their concerns to the NHTSA. So let's get started and see what are we looking at. Alright, so the first part is there are six complaints and this is actually not specific to any additional models. It is just that because I think when they started getting information, there was not a lot of information on what model. So they actually bundled it all in 2022 Lexus NX. And we can see here we see a bunch of issues. I'm going to go all the way back to September 2022. And this complaint, let's expand this and see what it says. So we can see here, it's a Canadian made NX and it says I have a 2022 Lexus NX and the driver side mirror shakes excessively and consistently and is a serious con safety concern because at night there are blurry lights reflecting making it seeing cars very difficult and is also a safety concern because during the day you cannot see the distance cars or objects are away from the vehicle as the mirror consistently shakes. This puts myself and others at risk of collision. This also causes me to become car sick when driving. I took the car into the dealership Lexus of Riverside in Riverside, California two times since purchasing this vehicle for this to be fixed. They refused to fix it and acknowledged Lexus knows about the problem and said not enough people have complained for them to fix it. They are currently saying that it is normal characteristics of the vehicle but this simply cannot be. It is extremely unsafe. This issue first appeared when I purchased the vehicle and took delivery. This seems to be a widespread based on information I've seen on social media and online forums. The mirror shaking happens at all speeds. So when you expand that, it actually says, just says NX2022. So this seems to be um, something that we have seen resolved uh, as resolution from Lexus. And this is where they actually issued the uh, technical services bulletin for US and Mexico so that um, whoever this owner is, you can bring it in and have it fixed. And the next one here is seats, November 2nd. This one's made in Japan and let's have a look at what it says here. So the 2022 Lexus NX driver's seat is crooked, confirmed by Lexus dealership and the Lexus field rep. The side, the left side of the seat is, is back further while the right seat is actually closer to the dashboard. Lexus has confirmed and the seat is properly attached and bolted into the seat rails. An identical seat from the unaffected 2022 NX was placed in my vehicle and it did not fix the crooked orientation. The replacement seat sat crooked as well. So the vehicle was delivered brand new to me from Lexus with this defect. This defect may affect the crashworthiness of the vehicle, seat strength, and the driver's body in the event of a car crash, as well as how the seat belts fit the driver due to the crooked orientation of the seat. Lexus headquarters sent this vehicle to a frame shop to dismantle the vehicle and measure the frame. I have been told they cannot uh, locate what is causing the driver's seat to be crooked, but have ruled out the problem is not the actual the seat, or the seat rails. That's interesting. Lexus has also told me this problem cannot be fixed. 
per the photos from the frame shop that exposed the entire frame and the unibody of the vehicle, the round seat mount holes in the framing of this vehicle appear to be elongated into an egg, an egg-shaped slot instead of round circles. This may be this might may also compromise the vehicle and seat strength and integrity and affected the crashworthy of this vehicle. Sitting in this crooked driver's seat for several months have resulted in a hip injury. All right, so this one seems to be an issue with the seat. And I'm surprised that nobody caught it until the driver actually went in and sat in it for that long. It actually is said for a few months. And then they figured out the seat was a little bit off. So this one is also made in Japan. So on two occasions, the car was locked out on us. The auxiliary battery failed, which does not allow the electric door to operate. It is necessary to follow the procedure to unlock the driver so the hood can be opened and auxiliary battery can be charged and jump started. We purchased the car on July 30th, 2022 and it had 2,400 miles on the odometer. On each occurrence, the local Lexus dealer sent a technician to open the car and jump start the engine. Following the second occurrence, we were instructed to bring the car into the dealership. They could find nothing wrong. This morning, the service manager told me that I had tested the battery five times over several days and it continued to show itself healthy. On the width of the service manager testing it again, it was dead as a doornail. The test sh showed a bad cell. The good news is the problem was diagnosed and a new battery has been ordered. The potentially bad news is that the auxiliary battery on the NX450H Plus may be defective in other cars. So this is talking about the 12 volt battery, which I actually had the same problem where um, where it actually died, but my probably would not be related to this at this point. I have not seen my second occurrence of this issue, so one thing to note is that you probably need to drive this car more often, but something to look out for if there are issues similar to this. Okay, so this second, this other issue is the same thing. The driver's side mirror vibrates, and this is also made in Canada, intended as a mirror. So this one is just the same thing, where we have the problem with the vibration of the mirror. Okay, this one seems to be similar as well. So this one is also made in Canada. And let's read in a little bit more detail here. A very serious issue and an ad inadequate side mirror visibility. The brand new 2022 Lexus NX driver side mirror does not have a range of adjustments to safely accommodate shorter drivers. The primary driver of the seat is 5 feet 3. And when the seat adjustments have been all made, the driver side mirror does not articulate inward enough, preventing the driver from seeing the side of the vehicle nor an area near the side of the vehicle. The lack of range creates a serious lack of visibility of small children, pedestrians, or pets that may be standing next to the vehicle during reversing. In households with small children or congested parking lots, the lack of visibility of the pedestrians standing next to the vehicle poses extreme risks of pedestrians being crushed by the vehicle. The danger is especially severe if the reversing vehicle needs to turn to the driver's side, right side where the left front tire will travel in a larger radius than the left rear tire potentially striking or crushing any small pedestrians standing next to the vehicle driver's side. The passenger side mirror range of adjustment is satisfactory. The safety issue is reported by the driver's side only. This one is a little bit hard for me to understand. So they're saying that the mirror cannot articulate inward enough. So meaning they cannot see the the door in the side mirror well potentially you should not be seeing the full door um, but even when you back out you don't rely on just mirrors right you would probably would be looking over to make sure that there's no 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 objects nothing before you actually back out and turn over i understand five five feet three you probably have to put your seat higher um, 
but I don't know any owners out there actually provide a comment here because it, it's a little bit hard for me to understand what the problem is I, I know what they're trying to say but I'm is it just the mirror or there's something else that needs to be dealt with here So this one is electrical system related, uh, J Japanese made, and it says, My car was hit from the back by another vehicle. Ouch. And after the collision, I was parked, I parked the vehicle and turned off the ignition switch before getting out of the vehicle. The door automatically gets locked and the vehicle does not allow the, to open the door even with the key inside. I had to open the door with the manual handle from inside after I went out of the car immediately the car again was automatically locked with the car key inside I tried to open the car several times and even with the phone application however it remains locked the car never opened so I have to use the external hard key to get access to the inside I'm very concerned about the lock system of the vehicle because someone can get stuck inside with the system failure and if there is a fire or something this could be a very serious problem. I have kids and pets and now I don't feel safe driving this vehicle again thinking about this behavior during an accident. So touch wood I have not actually got into an accident with my vehicle and my understanding is if it does get into an accident it would actually automatically unlock all the doors. But it seemed like he was able to, or he or she was able to drive away with the car. And with that, it definitely has the car continue to be locked. And then seems like it would not automatically unlock. So it seems like some, there's some failure there. But I don't know what was, res like, was this resolved? Um, have they looked at why this is happening? Um, this sounds a little bit more serious. And I think hopefully we get a more understanding of what it is. And hopefully it's a software related issue that they can resolve. Probably some sensors got crushed during the accident. And maybe that is why the car is thinking that there's something um, impacting it or something. Alright, now I flipped over to the 2023 Lexus NX350 and there's one issue, issue, one complaint. So this was actually quite recent, April 8th, 2023. Let's expand this and see what it says. So this is uh, a Canadian made. So it says, the blind spot never works. It's been in the dealership for three times. Every time they say issue was fixed, but it comes back regular issue, keeps having something related to the blind spot monitoring keeps turning on even if there is no car behind me which makes me difficult to switch lanes sometimes it pushes me back to the lane even if there's no car it's almost ended up into car okay very serious technical glitch almost missed a major accident on freeway okay i'm trying to understand what this person is saying so it's like, I think they're saying that there's a very serious technical glitch and they almost they almost got into a major accident on the freeway and they avoided it because of that. Um, what's happening is the blind spot monitoring keeps on saying that there's a car. That's a little bit freaky. Um, something to look at and this like seems to be like a corner case. Maybe um, three times at the dealership. Maybe you can ask for a new vehicle. It probably can be claimed as a lemon. We'll see, uh, but this is a uh, Canadian made NX 2023 NX350. Let's move on. To so this one we have one complaint and what this one's related to the powertrain. So this one was October 2nd, 2022 Canadian made NX350. It says H, but in the description it actually says 350. So I don't know if this is a 350H or 350. Anyways, okay, a longer pair description here. It says that the contact owns a 2022 Lexus NX350. The contact states that while at a car wash and shifting from park to drive, the vehicle failed to respond, causing the vehicle 
behind to hit the rear of his vehicle. The taillight and the rear bumper sustained minor damage. There is no warning light illuminated, the airbags did not get deployed, there are no injuries sustained, the contact shift to park and turned off and restarted the vehicle and the vehicle responded as needed. The contact stated that the failure had been reoccurring. The dealer was not notified of the failure and the manufacturer was notified of the failure and sent out a field technician who diagnosed that no issues were found. The manufacturer later sent an email to the contact stating that the incident occurred due to the fact that he panicked. The vehicle was not repaired. The failure mileage was unknown. So this seems to be related to the transmission and I don't know what it is but something just to make note of. Um, it's not as easy to shift especially if you're in a panic. You need to get used to that shifter. Um, and I think that's probably something that we'll have to look at, uh, look out for. Does anybody who own an NX350 or 350H are seeing this type of problem? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, so it says say service brakes. So the contact owns a 2022 Lexus NX450H Plus. The contact states while reversing and exiting her driveway at approximately 3 miles per hour, the vehicles came to an abrupt stop. The contact stated that the brake warning light was illuminated in red. Additionally, she had not depressed the brake pedal. The contact had taken the vehicle to a local dealer to diagnose and determined that the failure could not be re du cannot be duplicated. The contact state that all the sudden braking reoccurred several times and the vehicle was not repaired. The manufacturer has been informed of the failure and the failure mileage was about 1,000 to 1,000 miles. I've actually seen that once on my vehicle, but this one was because I was backing out. I was backing in, in a, I was backing in a parking lot where there were people walking. So the car sensed the people walking, so they so, it suddenly stopped the vehicle. And I think it depends on the sensors on how sensitive it is, and it actually stopped really aggressively. And I have not seen that afterwards. That one seemed to be, I was looking at the back mirror and I saw people walking, so I think that's why it I was trying to prevent me from going further. The vehicle has an alignment issue that was identified at 12 miles odometer reading. For this to be a brand new car, steering is off center to the left and the car still drifts to the left on even roads after three attempts to fix the problem. When the brake hold feature is on, the vehicle locks the brakes while it is in motion about 25 to 35 miles per hour. Also, the video skid control off light comes on, goes on, and on its own with the traction control off warning message. So this seems to be some sensor problems that's causing this issue. All right, so we've looked at the 2022 and 2023 Lexus NX and see how many complaints there have been made to the NHTSA, right? So I'm gonna go to right now to the 2022 Genesis GV70 and see how many complaints there are. And you can see here, there are two recalls, 16 complaints. So when you look at the number of complaints that we've seen on the NX, either the people, the owners of the Genesis are more has more complaints or they actually have been less complaints on the NX so I don't really know but this is one good benchmark to look at so Genesis GV70 has 17 complaint complaints and if we go here and now look at the Acura RDX and let's see the all-wheel drive how many complaints are there? Are eight complaints on the RDX, which you have to keep in mind. The RDX is not a brand new model here, right? So even on the 2022, they're seeing eight complaints from owners of the RDX as well. So I'm just going to go and look at because this is the all-wheel drive. Let's see if they have anything with the front-wheel drive, and is there any difference? So I think it's the same eight complaints, so that's something to look into. And if we look at, let's say, the Audi Q5. So there's a bunch of them. Let's look at the PHEV. And good, no complaints on the Audi. 
and let's see if what else is there uh, the SUV 23 complaints on the Audi Q5 so you can see the number of issues that or complaints that we're seeing on the NX is not high so I think this is just something I want to uh, at the end say that okay this is not something a high number of complaints probably there are more complaints other competitors to the NX also has complaints and their numbers aren't that far away thank you for watching if you like this video please comment like and share this video if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thank. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.